Alright, my came to EGX, and we're going to learn how to build a custom fireball explosion that looks a little bit like that. That's super cool, don't have a lot of time, let's get to work. I'm going to go ahead and grab this drone shot right here. Overhead, I'm going to go ahead and grab this fireball piece of footage and drop it up here on this third track. I'm going to look at that, I need to scale this up a little bit. I'm going to choose scale, scale to, scale to fill. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is, this is a little bit long, so I need to go grab a visual effect. Let's go over and grab the clip speed effect. Boom, clip seat effect applied. I would come over here and I've got to make this about two seconds long. Right about there, perfect. Okay, next thing, we're gonna duplicate this bad boy. Command D, I'm gonna come over to the annotations, shapes. I'm gonna grab this white shape right here, drag it over the top of this performer replace. Why I'm doing that is I want that to be the exact same size as that piece of footage. Okay, now I've got white, Ooh, that's rough. What am I gonna do with that? Well, we're going to add an animation. So drop an animation, custom animation on this. We're going to go ahead and drag that arrow all the way back over. And there you have it. So now we need this to go from opacity of 100. We want it to be uh, transparent to start and then eventually take over. All right, we're going to group these guys up. And the final piece that we've got to do here is come over to the visual effects. We're going to go media mat. And we're going to drag that guy onto the piece of footage right there. And we're going to change that media mat to use the luminosity. Uh, channels. Now we need another piece of footage. So let's go back to our media bin. We're going to grab that New York skyscape. We're going to drag it right there. And let's see what we've got, my friends. Drone footage. Cool flame transition. Amazing custom fireball transition. Yeah.